Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got some exciting news about the highly anticipated DJI NEO. Let's dive right in. First up, it looks like the DJI NEO is taking its sweet time to make an appearance. We were all expecting it on August 29th, but now it seems like we'll have to wait until September 5th for the global launch. No official teaser yet, but there's been some interesting information coming out recently. The official DJI Peru website released details on the NEO's features which align with earlier leaks. Here are its key features and specs. Now here's where it gets interesting. A YouTuber exploring Southeast Asia found himself in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia and decided to hunt down the DJI NEO. After searching through several stores, he finally got his hands on it. Calling it just a selfie drone might be an understatement. It seems there's more to this little guy than meets the eye. A big thanks to this fellow creator who got an early look at the DJI NEO and shared some great insights. You can check out his full video from the link in the description below. The NEO's design is inspired by the Hover Air X1, featuring a similar look and some cool buttons up front for quick shot modes. You could get some epic shots without needing a controller or an app. Although DJI took some inspiration from Hover's Air X1, they've added their own spin. The NEO works seamlessly with DJI's controllers and goggles, and the pricing seems pretty aggressive, making it a strong contender in the market. One cool feature of the NEO is its C-Zero class marking, which is significant for such a powerful little drone. This means it's good to go in urban areas under EU rules, opening up possibilities for flying it in places where bigger drones might struggle. Plus, the prop guards pop on and off easily so you can switch things up depending on where you're flying. However, unlike most DJI drones, the NEO doesn't have a micro SD card slot. Instead, it has 23 gigabytes of internal storage, which you can access by connecting the drone to your PC. This is handy, but we'll see how it plays out. Since the drone was still sealed and unactivated in the video, there are many unknowns about its performance. The YouTuber was excited to test out the FPV capabilities and how it works with DJI's goggles, so we'll have to wait and see how it stacks up against other micro drones and even DJI's bigger models. So what do you think? Would you go for a pocket-sized drone like the DJI NEO? Even if it might compromise a bit on image quality, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more tech updates. Catch you in the next one.